already facing the challenge, the black side stealth, no suppressors, reinforced doors, and unskilled. So essentially, it's just unskilled, everything else is merely an inconvenience. If it... I mean, it is quite a major inconvenience, but it's not really that much of a problem as long as I can actually, well, use a scrambler and get past, because I really do not want to deal with getting in disguise that early on. So if we were to just get over here, up and above this crate, that would be very, very nice. And yes, we are able to actually just rush this, but first I need to loot this camera and have that guard not walk towards me. That part's actually very important, so if you could just keep walking, that would be fantastic. Perfect. Right then, let's go over here. Let's just hack it, and I mean, right afterwards we can just start on working on getting a disguise, which... You know, it's quite simple. Let's just go over here, knock you out, bag it up, and hopefully get right close to the window before that guard starts walking backwards, because that... is kind of how this is supposed to work. Otherwise, we are not in for a good time, so we're just gonna bag this up, we're gonna grab the disguise, and we're just gonna hide both bodies. That's really it. I mean, if the guard were to move all the way over there, I would just take them out, that seems like the most convenient way to do things. And now they're walking back here, so I'm just going to be extra paranoid now. Or you could have just stopped there, which I mean works too. Can't say that's fantastic though, but sure. I mean, you're not gonna see me, and I'm not really gonna care, because I can just go over here, and start moving, which, there's only one camera here, which is quite nice, it's quite convenient. And I mean, there might be a guard in the corridor, so we're maybe not gonna go over there and take that guard out, since that's quite risky. Alright, so we've got no camera in the middle, we could certainly rush through there. And I do not think it's a good time to take out the guard over there to my right right now, since things are probably gonna go really, really badly. I mean, it's not 50 minutes, I've got essentially unlimited time, so we might as well just wait. Right then, and I presume you're just going to walk over there. In that case, how about you follow me inside here, and we can just take out our first guard, which I mean that's quite convenient. It's one guard after all, there's only four, and once we clear all of them, it's essentially free. Provided that we don't start respawning guards, in which case then it's no longer free. So there are two guards there, there might be a third one over there, I highly doubt there's a third one there though. We could theoretically... We could rush this, we very well could rush this, or we could take it a bit slowly, and just scout around. There's a camera there, of course there is, there's probably a guard already at the end of the corridor, or the guard could just not be there and further up, in which case that would make things much easier because of intimidation range. So perhaps the best solution here is to just wait. And it's quite unfortunate because it's black side and waiting is not really great, but I mean it can probably work, so... As long as you don't cause any problems, and that guard just starts walking over here, or doing that. That's one way of doing things, for sure. Because that means there's only one more other guard to worry about, and the other guard is to my right right now. So, things should theoretically... As I was saying, things should theoretically go just fine. As long as the guard doesn't walk up here, because that I am not prepared for. So once we back this up, we're just gonna run all the way over here, and we should be safe. Generally, as long as things go- as long as things don't go horrendously wrong from here on out. So all we gotta do is just go to the cell block, and just with no suppressors clear the entire room, which... It's not really very complicated. We just gotta try to make sure we don't shoot in order to make a guard turn around, because that will not end well. So we're gonna go over here, we're gonna go over here, and I mean, all we gotta do is just start looping cameras, which I mean... We can start by doing right here. There's a guard right up there, isn't there? Hello there. Nice to meet you. The looping cameras isn't really necessary, but it's quite nice and it's helpful overall, so we might as well just do it. Or actually... I mean, that's one way of doing things, that's for sure. We can just start by opening cell B, find a drill, and just start drilling open the other cells, which I mean will make discovering which one it is in actually much easier. Or it can just be in cell B and make things so much simpler. Some part of me does hope that it's in cell C, and also this is a loud drill but we can perfectly use it just fine since it still has a range and there's no one within that range to make this any concern at all, it's cell A. How unfortunate it's not in cell C. Anyways, we're just gonna open cell A, and just wait. And of course, grab the scrambler again, because I did not get a keycard. Which might make things slightly inconvenient later on, but it's not like we can't loop cameras, so we should generally be fine. 
Anyways, once rose, well, once the door to rose actually opens, that will be great because then we can actually meet rose and go towards the commander area. And provided that all goes well, it shouldn't take too long over there. Even though it's not 15 minutes and that's not really a concern for us, but it'll probably be fine. So all we gotta do is just meet Rose, wait for Rose to walk up the staircase, which is better than in Cell COD, where Rose has a very long walk. And then afterwards, you can just start heading towards the commander area. So, provided that you just walk over there really quickly right now, and provided that, that the commander is in a good location, things shouldn't take too long. Presumably. So we're just gonna go through here, go up through here, try not to get well rubber banded back, and then afterwards we're gonna go through here, up here, and well, all we gotta do is just say hi to the commander, which is hopefully somewhere lirable. How unfortunate. I mean, we could always visit the upstairs area. Do we need to? No, not really. Hello there, I've just been getting a door shut on me multiple times today. Hello. Right then, we're gonna loop this camera. And I mean, this is essentially a very, very, very nice dead choke point because, well, there's a keycard door there, there's a keycard door here. And there's one door below, which means there's only one way in or out. So, this is always a nice place. We're just going to loop this since it might be convenient later on. As for this, we're just going to hack this, open it up. And well, it's not the location that we're looking for. So both of them are going in there. That basically means that room is essentially now full. I mean, there's that one door that we can check. Who knows, it might actually be in it. And who knows? Maybe the commander's gonna show up the moment I finish lockpicking this, which would be very, very convenient. Once again, it's still no suppressors, so I can't just make anyone turn around. And reinforced door still makes it a pain because, well, it's certainly a long wait to actually get this door open, especially if unskilled. Of course it is. So, where's the commander? That's the main question now. Hello there. This is a very nice position to lure, and you're walking away from me. Perfect. I mean, it's not really a great position, but it's decent. And it seems like you're going in there, which is actually quite convenient for me. Perfect. So, if I were to just... Go on. You're going inside here. We're not doing anything else, because this is basically the best spot to just not get caught. I mean, it's not necessarily the best overall, but then again... There aren't that many better options here, so if you could just have you stay over here and not get caught on the way out. You know, I could have just, well, hosted my gun and things would have been just fine there, but then again, this works. That's one less card to worry about, which I mean makes things slightly easier, even though there's not really a lot to worry about in the first place, since this is where the room is, and I mean, this is not really a very accessible room. So we're just going to use the computer, and then afterwards, Rose should be moving along. Anyways, all we gotta do is just go out now, and well, hello there, hello there, hello there. Right then, sure, it should be done anyways, and all we gotta do now is just wait for Rose, and that's essentially it. No, really, that's it. I mean, we could always climb this container. That would've been nice if it took less time. Right then, all we gotta do is just wait for Rose. That's really it. I've got a lot of bullets now, I'm realizing, but we probably shouldn't use it since, well, gunshots are bad for trying to survive stealth. And probably it's for the better that we drop that. And that. Or actually, maybe all of our items, that would work. We don't need them after all. And anyways, Rose is gonna open the door, we're gonna go through here. And well, that's essentially it. As long as you don't get stuck on the door over there. And that's the daily challenge that I just under 8 minutes and 45 seconds. Cheers everyone, have a great time!